pressing the raise function will engage both motor relay and the S2 coil. S2 valve will shift allowing fluid to flow to the lift ram. Once the lift ram is fully extended, fluid will flow through the RV5 and back to tank. RV5 is our main pump relief which is set to 2250 PSI. Pressing the lower function will engage the S3 coil. S3 valve will shift, allowing the fluid to flow out of the lift ram through S3, through the quill, and back to tank. The quill is adjustable to slow the drop speed of the blade. Pressing the wing function on the control the first time will extend the driver's side angle cylinder. This will engage the motor relay, S4, and S7 coils. S4 and S7 valves will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the base end of the driver's side cylinder. Fluid from the rod side of the cylinder is recirculating through the S7 valve. Once the wing is fully extended, fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the wing function on the control the second time will retract the driver's side angle cylinder. This will engage the motor relay, S1, S4, and S6 coils. S4 valve will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the rod end of the driver's side angle cylinder. Fluid from the base side of the cylinder flows through S6 and S1 valves before returning back to tank. Once the wing is fully retracted, fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the wing function on the control the first time will extend the passenger side angle cylinder. This will engage the motor relay, S8 and S11 coils. S8 and S11 valves will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the base end of the passenger side angle cylinder. Fluid from the rod side of the cylinder is recirculating through the S11 valve. Once the wing is fully extended, fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the wing function on the control the second time will retract the passenger side angle cylinder. This will engage the motor relay, S1, S8, and S10 coils. S8 valve will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the rod end of the passenger side angle cylinder. Fluid from the base side of the angle cylinder flows through S10 and S1 valves before returning back to tank. Once the wing is fully retracted, fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the scoop function on the control will engage the motor relay, 
S4, S7, S8, and S11 coils. S4, S7, S8, and S11 valves will shift allowing the fluid to flow to both driver and passenger side base end angle cylinders. Fluid from the rod side of the cylinder is recirculating through S7 and S11 valves. Once the wings are fully extended, fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the retract function on the control will retract the driver and passenger side angle cylinders. This will engage the motor relay S1, S4, S6, S8, and S10 coils. S4 and S8 valves will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the rod end of the driver and passenger side angle cylinders. Fluid from the base side of the cylinders flows through shifted S6 driver side and S10 passenger side valves. Fluid will then flow through shifted S1 valve before returning back to tank. Once the wings are fully retracted, Fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the angle right function on the control will retract the passenger side angle cylinder and will extend the driver side angle cylinder. This will engage the motor relay, S5, S8, and S10 coils. S8 valve will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the rod end of the passenger side angle cylinder. Fluid from the base side of the passenger side angle cylinder flows through S10. Fluid flows through the non-shifted S6 valve, pushing fluid into the base end of the driver side angle cylinder. Fluid from the rod end of the driver side angle cylinder flows through the shifted S5 valve and back to tank. Once the passenger side wing is retracted and the driver's side wing is extended, fluid will flow through RV5 and back to tank. Pressing the angle left function on the control will retract the driver's side angle cylinder and will extend the passenger side angle cylinder. This will engage the motor relay, S4, S6, and S9 coils. S4 valve will shift. This allows fluid to flow into the rod end of the driver's side angle cylinder. Fluid from the base end of the driver's side angle cylinder flows through S6. Fluid flows through the non-shifted S10 valve, pushing fluid into the base end of the passenger side angle cylinder. Fluid from the rod end of the passenger side angle cylinder flows through the shifted S9 valve and back to tank. Once the driver's side wing is retracted and the passenger side wing is extended, fluid will flow through the RV5 and back to tank.